What's up y'all? Today we're gonna give you a running workout to help you get faster and more explosive. So in this video, besides just giving you a good workout, we're also gonna talk a lot about how sometimes we can end up getting stuck at a certain pace. And I'm sure all of us have been there where every time we go out for a run, we end up running the same speed and pace. And we feel like we can't really break away from that. Right when we start to ask our bodies to go a little faster, it becomes extremely more demanding. And so there's a, there's a way to start to break yourself out of that little funk. <clears throat> and that's with stuff that we're gonna do today. So from an overview standpoint, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna learn how to do some really short, fast, explosive movements. We're gonna take it immediately into a short, fast run, and then we're gonna take that short, fast run into a little longer, more mellow paced run. And the idea there is that we are going to excite a lot of muscle fibers and a lot of fast twitch muscle fibers in the short, explosive movements. <clears throat> then we're going to take that and make those muscle fibers translate into a running motion. So now we're starting to force those fibers to help us run. And then we're gonna train some endurance in them by making them go longer in that uh, continuous, slower paced effort. So for today's workout, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do six rounds. Then a round consists of one of the ballistic movements that we'll go over, followed immediately by a 50 meter sprint or hard run, followed immediately by 350 meters, nice easy jog. So that's one continuous lap around the track. From a flow standpoint, what that would look like is my starting place is here. I'm gonna do my ballistic movements here. I'm gonna run immediately away from that for 50 meters hard. I'm gonna do the rest of the lap nice and easy to get back to my starting place. A lap around a track is 400 meters, 50 meters, 350, you get back to your start place. If you don't happen to have a track with you, that's okay. What you can do is you can do your ballistic movement followed immediately by 15 seconds of hard running, followed immediately by two minutes of nice easy jogging. We're gonna finish every round with a two minute rest, so I'll get my full round done. I'm gonna get back to my starting place and rest for two minutes, and then I'm gonna go into my next round after that. We're gonna go over three ballistic movements after this, and the way those are gonna in be incorporated in the workout is that in round one, I'll do movement one, round two, I'll do movement two, round three, I'll do movement three, and then I'll repeat. So I'll get to see each movement two times throughout the workout. So let's dig into what those movements are. Movement number one that will be performed in rounds one and round four is going to be a partial depth squat jump. So you've got two pieces there. One is a squat, two is a jump. We always need these to be fast and explosive, so we'll talk about that a little more, but make sure that you are really quick off the ground and quick into your rebound, or else we're not gonna really capture the nature of the workout, which is to build this explosiveness. <clears throat> so starting with the squat, I'm not doing a full depth squat where I pull my hips all the way below my knees. I'm just gonna go partial depth, so make sure my hip is gonna stay above my knee. After that, I'm going to immediately explode up and then try to recapture, land quickly back into my squat and come back up. So here's what two reps would look like. So in the workout, you're gonna get five. Five of those need to be performed in quick succession. So if you find yourself doing this, you're not doing it just right. So maybe cut down the height of your jump. Maybe cut down the depth of your squat so that you can be quicker when you land and come back up. I'll do those five reps. I'll take that immediately into my 50 meter sprint out and then right into my 350 meter nice and easy. So again, squat jumps in round one and round four. Movement number two, which will be done in rounds two and five is going to be everyone's favorite movement, the burpee. Uh, burpees are basically laying down completely and then getting back up as quickly as you can. <clears throat> One of the big things I just said there was that I need to lay down completely. So just doing a slow burpee this time. If I only kind of come down to the ground, I'm not really doing a full burpee. I need to feel my hips and my chest touch the ground before I come back up. Jump and clap. In terms of speed, just like the squat jump, we want this to be as fast and ex as explosive as possible. So, in kind of the evolution of speed of a burpee, the slowest that we can do 
is going to be where I place my hands down, walk my feet back, lay down, walk my feet up, jump and clap. The next would be if I put my hands down, jumped my feet back, jumped my feet up, jumped and clap. And the last most fast option, if possible, is that I'm going to actually kick my feet out behind me before my hands go on the ground. So I'm jumping back and back up. To show you the speed at which I would like to see a burpee done in this workout, two reps would look like this. Down, up, jump. Like so. Five of those should be doable for this workout. If they're not doable and you feel yourself really slow down towards that fifth rep, cut it to four. If you feel yourself slowing down towards the fourth rep, maybe cut it to three. Just like the squat jumps, you're gonna do five of those into your 50 meter sprint, 350 run. So the final movement is going to be a high knee skip. Um, what this will look like is basically your normal kind of childhood skipping, but you're going to make it as explosive and jump as high as you can in the air. So what you're gonna get is you're gonna get eight reps. Eight reps is gonna be right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg. So every time you go up in the air, it's one rep. So eight total jumps, four on each leg. To show you what it looks like a little bit, here's what two reps looks like. So I'm going to skip, jump, skip, jump. I'm quick in that transition where I'm going from landing into one leg, I'm gonna go immediately up into the other. Two things I'm looking for as I do that is full high knee in the air and I'm gonna use my arms to help me be as explosive as I can to go into the next one. Eight reps is gonna go immediately into your 50 meter run out, but since this one moves towards your target, that's fine. Just run as far, or run to your normal 50 meter mark. It might be more like 40 or 35 meters at this point, and that's fine. So you're gonna take that, run all the way back in, and that's for rounds three and round six. Thanks for watching this video on getting faster as a runner. If you liked it, better, uh, be sure to let us know by hitting the like button below. If you have any questions or comments about the stuff you saw in this video or any of our other content, let us know in the comments. We have a ton of stuff on our channel for injury prevention, marathon training, strength training, anything running related for the most part. Uh, so go ahead and subscribe to our channel as well if you wanna get access to all those videos. Uh, for making it this far in this video, we'd also love to offer you guys a free gift to uh, kind of help yourselves out, get better and faster as a runner. So if you click the video here in, um, in the video, go ahead. It'll take you to a place where you can put your email down and we'll send you that free gift. Uh, if you happen to be on a mobile device, we do have that same place linked out in the uh, description. So you can click there for that email drop as well. Um, and again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and we will catch you in the next one.